Hey gang, Scott here. If you are a Luminar AI user, adding a watermark to your images just got a whole lot easier with Update 2 to Luminar AI. They've added support for transparent images in the texture overlays and some resize capabilities. So some very much needed things for texture overlays and compositing. And it makes it very simple to add watermarks to your photos. And real quick, if you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thinking about adding Luminar AI to your toolkit, check the show notes. There is an offer code down there that'll save you a little bit of money, no extra cost to you, and gives me a little bit of support. So let me show you this, watermarking in Luminar AI. To add a watermark in Luminar AI, head over to the local masking area, click add and choose texture. Texture lets you load in another photo to blend with your original image. And a watermark is one of those types of photos, right? We can load in a texture. I will choose my logo. And notice I chose a PNG file. It has a transparent background. Luminar AI Update 2 supports those transparent backgrounds. We also have a place texture button now, which gives us a free transform. I can transform the image and let's shrink that down. I can reposition it. Maybe I'll even make it a little bit smaller. I don't want to take away from my photo. I can move it over to the right hand side. And finally, I can control the opacity. If I need to make that a little bit more prominent, we have that control, all the other controls for textures in terms of flipping them. You have your blending options for those textures. These will be more important for doing compositing work, but for a watermark, place the texture, set the opacity, and you're really good to go. So it's very, very easy to add watermarks now with Luminar AI Update 2. Hope you found the video useful. Got any questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.